This THQ Nordic game will have you rocking yourself and crying in the corner. <laughs> pulling your hair out. And will have you smashing your controllers and maybe even your TV screen. And then, despite all that, you'll find yourself still playing the game. Welcome to the Ruby Tuesdays review for LX. In 2016 at EGX Resd in London, we had the opportunity to test LX out, but not until recently, thanks to THQ Nordic sending us a copy, had we had the opportunity to immerse ourselves fully in the game. Developed by Piranha Bytes, LX is an action RPG open world game set in a science fantasy post apocalyptic universe, and yes, that is quite a mouthful to say. I don't know what you're talking about. The best way to describe this game would be to take Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Fallout, and add in a bit of CD Projekt Red's The Witcher for good measure, and then set the difficulty to Dark Souls. Shit. Shit! That right there is LX. What you say is logical. Everything in this game will kill you. Not until hour 11 of my gameplay did I find I was not repeatedly dying. In Dark Souls, I get it. When a giant monster or dragon kills you, you understand why. But in LX, dinosaur rats and big birds constantly defeat you, which is very disheartening, to say the least. And then there's the game's crazy mechanics and flaws. Little things like having to scroll up the continue button once you've saved instead of just being able to push the back button or push B once to play again. Things like this get really frustrating very fast. I've also found LX quite buggy, to say the least, so you might be asking yourself, why the hell are you still playing it then? Well, that's for the following reasons. We're working together to make this world better. Firstly, the world is massive. It took me 35 minutes to run from end to end of the map. It has five regions for you to explore right from the beginning. Obviously, you'll encounter creatures that will hinder your exploration, but that's where your jetpack comes into play. The addition of the Rocketeer Pack the Rocketeer. is a must in this game, as some of the adventuring you'll need to do are in places only accessible by Jetpack. Plus, it's damn fun. I like it. The basic rule is, if you can see it, you can go to it. The story has genuine consequences to your actions as well. What you say and do to who you say it to is vital, so save often. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. There are four factions to join. The Berserkers in Idan, the Albs in Exocor, the Cleric in Iguandan, and the Outlaws in Tavar. I know I'll regret this. As I'm sure you've guessed by now, you can join whichever faction you want to join, but be aware each story is different according to the side you choose to be on, so you could seemingly play the campaign through multiple times. Combat is a massive part of this game, and finding your niche, what works best for you, is part of the fun. You have a plethora of powers, flamethrowers, weapons, swords, bows, shotguns, and plasma rifles. It's a truly immersive and expansive weapons choice. You will, of course, have to be a certain level before you wield some of those weapons, and one does not just pick up a lightning sword willy-nilly. One does not simply walk into Mordor. There is honestly so much to this vast open world that I could go on for ages, from your companions to the side quests that are often longer than the main campaign, story missions and random loot that is literally everywhere. I haven't even started on the amazing and breathtaking locations, like a giant tree heart, for example. So yes, this game is pretty much harder than reading Egyptian hieroglyphics from space, and you will at least need 10 hours of gameplay time before understanding what and how to play LX, but it's worth it, mostly. Mostly. The adventure lurking behind every corner in this world makes this a must for any fans of the open world RPG science fantasy post apocalyptic genre, and yes, that's still a mouthful. LX, after much deliberation, gets 7 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs>